Have you ever wondered where the Himalayan pink salt comes from? Let's take a stroll down Earth's memory lane to a time over 500 million years ago. Back then, an ancient sea covered what we now know as northern Pakistan. As time passed, this sea slowly evaporated, leaving behind vast deposits of salt beneath the Earth's surface. Under the immense pressure and heat from our ever-changing planet, these deposits were compressed into rock salt. But the story doesn't end there. The Earth, as restless as it is, kept on changing. Volcanic activity played a significant part in this chapter of the tale. It enriched the rock salt with trace minerals, and these minerals bestowed upon the salt its distinctive pink hue. So the next time you sprinkle this pink salt onto your food, remember that it's a product of a journey spanning millions of years. Now that we know where Himalayan pink salt comes from, how is it mined? Let's take a journey to the Kira region of northern Pakistan, where the mining process transforms ancient deposits into the salt we know and love. Here, tradition meets technology in the extraction of this precious mineral. Imagine a miner, pickaxe in hand, chiseling away at the mountainside. Each strike reveals glistening salt crystals, a testament to the region's rich geological past. This manual technique passed down through generations is as much a part of the salt story as the salt itself. But as time moves forward, so too do the methods. Modern machinery has found its place alongside the pickaxe and chisel. Miners now employ sophisticated equipment to carve out tunnels, extracting the salt with increased efficiency. Yet even as they harness the power of technology, they must strike a delicate balance. For the value of Himalayan pink salt lies not just in its quantity, but in its quality. The goal? To preserve the salt's natural characteristics even as they streamline its extraction. Blasting techniques too have been adopted, but they are used judiciously. Every explosion is carefully planned and executed, ensuring the integrity of the salt remains intact while maximizing extraction. From deep within the mountains of Pakistan, the Himalayan pink salt is extracted with utmost care and precision. This salt, born of ancient seas and enriched by volcanic activity, continues its journey from the heart of the earth to the heart of our kitchens and spas. After these crystals are mined, how do they become the salt we use in our kitchens? Well, the process is rather minimal, keeping the salt as natural as possible. Once the salt is extracted, it's crushed into smaller pieces. This process is as simple as it sounds, breaking down the larger crystals into a more usable size. Following this, the crushed salt is sieved. This step separates the salt into various sizes, ensuring that every grain is just right. The salt is then dried, removing any remaining moisture. This helps to preserve the salt, keeping it fresh and ready for use. But what about impurities? Well, certain refinement processes are used to remove any unwanted elements. At the same time, the salt may be shaped into blocks or flakes, depending on its intended use. However, these processes are kept to a minimum. The aim is to retain the salt's natural composition and its unique qualities. The result is the pure, natural and minimally processed Himalayan pink salt we know and love. So, what makes Himalayan pink salt so special in our kitchens and spas? Well, let's dive right in. This unassuming pink crystal is a treasure trove of trace minerals, including iron oxide, calcium and manganese. These minerals not only imbue the salt with its characteristic pink hue, but also contribute to potential health benefits. Despite these minerals being present in small amounts, they have a significant impact. For instance, iron oxide or rust is what gives the salt its pink tone and is known for its antioxidant properties. On the other hand, calcium, an essential mineral for bone health, and manganese, a cofactor for many enzymes, are also found in this unique salt. But it's not all about health. The culinary world has embraced Himalayan pink salt with open arms. Gourmet chefs often reach for this salt to add a distinct flavor and visual appeal to their dishes. From seasoning steaks to garnishing salads, this vibrant salt has found its way into kitchens around the globe. Beyond the kitchen, the wellness industry has also taken notice. Spa treatments often incorporate Himalayan pink salt for its potential therapeutic benefits. Whether in a rejuvenating salt scrub or a relaxing salt lamp, its presence elevates the experience. Himalayan pink salt, with its myriad uses, has indeed carved a niche for itself. And as we continue to explore its potential, it seems this ancient treasure will only shine brighter in our modern world. As the demand for Himalayan pink salt rises, 
Should we be concerned about its environmental and ethical implications? This question is becoming increasingly pertinent as the popularity of this unique salt continues to grow. The extraction of Himalayan pink salt, as we've seen, is a process that has been carried out for centuries in the Kira region of northern Pakistan. But with the surge in demand, there's a risk that the traditional methods of mining, which have been sustainable for generations, could be replaced by more aggressive, less environmentally friendly techniques. There are already signs of this happening. The use of machinery and blasting methods, while they undoubtedly speed up the process, can also lead to soil erosion, habitat destruction, and other environmental damages. Additionally, the extraction process can result in a significant amount of waste, with only about 30% of the mined salt actually making it to our dinner tables. The rising demand for Himalayan pink salt also brings with it ethical considerations. The miners who work in the salt mines often work under harsh conditions, and there are growing concerns about their welfare and rights. But there's hope. As these issues come to light, many companies are taking steps to ensure that their sourcing of Himalayan pink salt is both environmentally sustainable and ethically sound. This includes adopting more sustainable mining practices, such as limiting the use of heavy machinery and explosives, and ensuring that waste is properly managed. On the ethical front, companies are working to improve conditions for miners, providing them with fair wages and safe working environments. Some companies have even established programs to support the local communities near the mines, contributing towards education, healthcare and other essential services. So, as consumers, we can play our part by choosing to buy our Himalayan pink salt from companies that are committed to these responsible practices. By doing so, we can help to ensure that the journey of this remarkable salt, from the mountains of Pakistan to our kitchens, is one that respects both the environment and the people involved. The journey of Himalayan pink salt from the mountains of Pakistan to our kitchens is indeed fascinating. But it's our responsibility to ensure that this journey is sustainable and ethical.